Today we're going to be doing my review of the Silmaron Pistolier 5.5 inch and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So in this video we're doing my review of the Cimarron Pistolier 5.5 inch Colt Single Action Army 1873 clone here. Now this one has some special things about it. It has stuff I like and I don't like about it. That's what we're going to go over with in this video. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to take it over to the table, tell you some of the specs on it and features, then we're going to take it outside and shoot it, and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. Let's go ahead and get started. The Seven Ron Pistolier comes with a blued barrel and a receiver. Then it also has a nickeled back strap and trigger guard on this model. It comes with a 5.5 inch barrel, which to me is one of my favorite lengths for this style gun. It comes with two piece walnut grips that I think look really great. It holds six rounds and those rounds are ignited by a firing pin on the hammer. This is a three click model hammer. A lot of the purists do not like that, they like the floor click. I'll give you my thoughts on that at the end. It comes with a fixed sight in the front and a trench style sight in the rear. This model is actually made by Uberti for Cimarron. The total length of this is 14.15 inches, total height of it is 6.25 inches, and the total width of it is 2.15 inches, and it weighs in at 40 ounces. Now before we take it outside and chew it, I do want to go over a couple things here. I want to tell you guys the bluing on this is very nice. I do like the bluing, but the one thing I don't like about it is the finish on this hammer. Look at this. I'm going to try to focus in here a little bit better. Look at all the machine marks and scruff marks on that. And that is on both sides. To me, that is a horrible job right there. Look at those marks. I'm just trying to move it around to get the lighting right. To me, this looks absolutely horrible. And that is a very bad machine work on the hammer of such a pretty gun on that. Now, everything else on here has been good. Any nicks or scratches that are on this is because I've had this gun for a few years and it does get shot and that's going to happen. But I wanted to show you guys that on the hammer because I thought that was ridiculous from the factory. Now that we're outside, I'm going to go over the ammo we're going to be using in this today. The ammo is my reloads. We got a Lee 200 grain cast bullet that I casted up with trail balls. Sucks they don't make trail balls anymore. You can't find it nowhere. Really sucks about it. Because this is a very nice, enjoyable plinking round for a gun like this. Because it is a Colt clone, you don't want to shoot high power stuff out of it. You can shoot regular 45 Colt out of it. But I just enjoy a round like this just because it's a nice, fun plinking load. Now with that said, I do want to thank Extreme Bullets because they do support the channel with other rounds and stuff that I do on it. If you're watching this on Rumble, there will be a discount code for them down below. If you're watching on YouTube... Follow me on X and where I post this video up, I'll have that discount code for you. Sorry, YouTube's just getting weird and I don't want to take chances with it. So this is a three clock model to load it. You only take it back to the first click, open up the loading gate, and I do cowboy load this. Even though it's the three click model and they say it's got a safety in it, I do not trust it. And I'll go over that later in the video too. So to cowboy load it, you would put one in, skip around. And then you would put the rest of your rounds in. And that's how you should do any gun like this to be safe. The only time I don't do it is with my newer Rugers. Because with them, they have the transfer bar safety on it. And that is safe enough for me for range use. So now what you want to do after that last one, you want to pull the hammer all the way back. Pull the trigger. Drop that hammer slowly. And I can see through the cylinder gap right there, we are on an empty chamber. So let's go ahead and fire this off. I'm going to go for the Ipsic target right off the bat because I am not used to this. And I haven't shot it for a while, but if I remember right, I think these rounds shot high. So let's try it out here. Ah, oh, not too bad there. Let's go to the gong. All right, I popped the gong right on top. Let's try the coyote. All right. Uh, let's try the bowling pin. I have a feeling I'm not going to hit him. Nope, I missed him. Let's go ahead and load up again.
So as you guys can see here, these rounds, this is like shooting a 22. Actually, I was just reminded of something looking down into the cylinder. I'm not getting complete powder burn. There is some flakes still sitting in there with this, but it's still a very enjoyable round. I'm going to try that bowling pin again. We'll try it two handed. There we go. Let's try the, there we go. Let's try the popper. There we go. Gopher. Ooh, missed a gopher. That should have been five. Yep, that was five. When I do two-handed, I can get kind of accurate with it. One-handed, I can't. Now, the one thing you guys know is I'm left-handed. You see me shoot this gun a lot of times right-handed. I'll do that next. I don't know why, but with a semi-auto, I cannot shoot right-handed that well. I seem to do decent with this. Let's go for the Ipsic. All right. Let's go for the silhouette next to it. Ooh, missed it. There we go. Let's try the coyote. All right, popped him. Let's put the last one on the small silhouette. Oh, missed it, and that should have been it. Yep, it was. This is a fun gun to shoot with light rounds like this. Another one I like doing is, is with HP 38 with it. Let's load up again. You know, I've been doing a lot of semi-auto Glock clone videos lately, mostly, but semi-auto. I just love stepping back sometimes and just doing a revolver. It's just so nice and relaxing. I do most of my revolver videos in the wintertime just for the simple fact because I reload. I don't have to come out here in the snow and pick my brass up. I could just throw it in my jar there, take it inside, throw it in my bin, clean it up, and get it ready to reload again. But it is about 90 degrees out here today, and I wanted to get my review video of this done because I've had this gun twice now. If you guys don't know, I actually sold this gun. It ended up coming back to me. So I was like, hey, I better do a video on it in case I get rid of it again. So that's why we're out here in the 90 degree heat shooting this. I want to try to hit that MGM gong a little bit better. Seems like I keep hitting high. Let's see. There we go. Ooh, missed it that time. Let's go for that gopher. There, we popped him that time. Small silhouette because we haven't hit it. There we go. I think I got one round left. Let's try the silhouette on the frame. Ooh, no I don't. Five rounds goes quickly. All right, I had to come up to the cabin and get out of the sun and get in the shade. It was hot out there. So what's my final thoughts of this? Just before we know this gun is clear first negative i always start off with the negatives i do not like this hammer this hammer looks absolutely horrible and should have never came from the factory like this that is a lot of machine marks and everything and this is such a beautiful gun why would you wreck it with the hammer don't get it now let's stay with the hammer here twice this gun has been back to i'm going to say the factory even though somebody flipped out in my last video because cimarron ain't a factory they have the guns imported in but it was sent back to cimarron and their gunsmiths whoever they were had to fix this twice both times they were for light primer strikes the reason for the light primer strikes is this is a three click i've had arguments about this too with ignorant people that don't do their research let's do this one two three it's a three click because it's a three click model there's actually a transfer bar that comes up into the hammer behind this firing pin you're supposed to be able to shoot six in this because of that but because of the issues i've had with it and not trusting the three click i still cowboy load it now they do sell a hammer to switch it over to a four click every time i looked it's been out of stock but you can do that so to me, that is two huge negatives, and they both have to do with the hammer on this. One, cosmetic, the machining marks on it are horrible looking, and then being a three-click model, that sucks just because it has its own issues. Now for the positives. It's a beautiful gun. Great clone of a Colt. Feels good in the hand. Shoots good. The sights are good. Trigger's good on it. 
I didn't do a trigger pull on it because everybody knows that when you have a single action revolver, basically the triggers are awesome on it. I have yet to shoot one that has a horrible trigger. Um, everything works nice and easy on it. You pull it back to one click and set it to you. Gate opens up. Cylinder spins freely on it. The ejection rod, it is nice. It works perfect on it. I mean, all around, it is a great gun. So would I recommend it though? This model? No, I would not recommend it. Yes, this is a sample of one, but I've seen videos that had issues with this three click model and that's why I cannot recommend it. Just because not only did I have issues with it, there's been a bunch of other people out there to have issues with it too. So I can recommend the Cimarron Pistolier. Now, I'm not saying that about all Cimarrons. I have plenty of buddies on YouTube that have four, four click models and they have absolutely no issues at all. So I'm not saying Cimarron's a bad company at all. They did take care of me twice on this to get it shooting like you saw today. But this three click model, I just can't recommend it. So leave your thoughts down below on what you think of this gun. Do you like the three click or you would you rather have a four click? Leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to check the links out down below. Down there I have links to Axel Heron Protection, Gators Eyewear, and a bunch of other companies I like dealing with. Some got discount codes to save you guys money. Others are affiliate accounts that do help out the channel. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation, Our God. And I'll see you all on the next one.